Hey folks, this is Wes Colton with Introvert Unbound. I'm in the forest and I want to get onto National Forest land because there's a trail that takes you into the wilderness. But there is this private land in holding between this public campground and that trail. My understanding is that the federal government and the Forest Service allow the people to keep their private property even though it's in federal land so long as they let people through. So I'm going to walk through this gate that says no trespassing and see if anyone stops me. This says dead end road, private property behind this sign. It's also protected by Bigfoot and there is a made up security police sign there. There is a cabin here. There ended up being another 10 or 15 cabins along the road. So even though it's supposed to be a small easement, there was a lot of private property along the side. And now there's this. And I'm on federal land. So there was definitely someone home in the last cabin. Their door was open and I think they had chickens because something made a really weird squawk once and then again as I was leaving. It actually scared the hell out of me. But that was the worst I had to deal with was the sound of a chicken. And now I am on national forest land. There isn't really much of a trail. This is either a deer trail or a faint footpath, or I'm just walking in random directions. But I'm following the stream and chipmunks are hanging out with me and I'm going to keep hiking. Well, there's definitely no trail anymore and the narrow watershed I was following, the edges have gone up with elevation. So the only place to walk would be along the stream. So I'm gonna turn back at this point after sitting in the sun and having a nice lunch. And then I have to walk through the private property again, but then I'll be able to walk back saying, hey, if I went through here and I caused a problem, I'm sorry about that. Now I know. And that can be how you deal with it. And I still get to have this experience without wimping myself out for no reason. And also being afraid of challenging people for your basic space it's not demanding, it's just asking. Will you grant me this? Will you grant me this favor to walk through your land? Great. If they chastise me on the way out, they're partially right, but I'm also partially right. And I know I have no evil in my heart. I have no malice in my heart. At least not right now. And that makes it so I trust myself and I think I should be able to walk along somebody's road to get to the forest. It turns out there is a dog that is large and looks wolf-like that is out and is on the path on my way back barking loudly at me with no people around. So I've got to figure out what to do. He is large but very friendly and he's going to lead me back and will probably meet his owner and that might be a different circumstance. I've got an escort. He wants to come along with me for some reason. I tried to get him to go back, but he wants to move along with me to the end of the road. And here I am back where I started on the other side of the gate, passed through the private land, heading back to the car, and I got a friend pissing over there. <laughs> 